Hey everybody and welcome back to Curiosity Plus. Today we're watching Foundation Season 1 Episode 7. The episode is titled Mysteries and Mantras. It's been a little over a week since I watched the last episode. But anyways, let's just get to watching. Jewel of Empress Julius, please. I saw you in her day. The Invictus was the most powerful weapons platform the Empire had ever built. A world killer. Yeah, she disappeared without a trace. 700 years ago. No debris, no distress signals. People reported sightings of her all across the galaxy. Never responding to hails, never seen in the same place twice. How do you even know if she's safe to approach? No, she isn't. The two craft we lost attempting to board her defense systems are still active what is it our front you must plan on the inner ring to access the airlock miss the inner ring and you will be lost good job warden Grief warden. We have no time for it now. So when have I expected to see you down here, Cleon? The correct honorific is Empire. No great respect for those who attempt a spiral. Sacred ritual reserved for Proxima's passing. To walk is to humble oneself before the triple goddess. Lewis, fall back. Fall back, Lewis. What, Tava? You and Descender are too close. Two meters. Oh, sorry. Doors, your guns will stop. Come on, guys! Come on. He served his purpose. I wonder what happened. Wow. Keep moving. Atmospheric's frozen. Must be a hole breach somewhere. The environmental systems must be off. We should find a regulation panel. The regulation panel. Over here. Okay. So systems are carried. I'll have to input commands with manual code. I've sealed the breach so it's safe to restore atmosphere. Lewis. We might have weather in here as the atmosphere regulates. Now for the gravity. Heads up. Those lights. What was that? Is that a power surge? Not sure. Now the security protocol. I want internal defenses offline. Security is a different system. That'll be closer to the bridge. 16 seconds. Hey. The lights are pulsating consistently every 18 seconds, and now it's down to 16. Uh, oh, okay, so what does that mean? Like a countdown? A countdown of what? The next jump. Two weeks ago, my people were out on a scavenging run. They happened to see the Invictus jump in. We think the drives are cycling on their own, setting random time interval between jumps. We knew if we wanted to get control of the ship, we had to board before she would jump her way in. Jump away where? They have no idea. That's how the legend started. That's why the Invictus became a ghost ship. The crew must have lost control, and the ship started jumping from one random set of coordinates to the next. They got marooned out in the dark deep somewhere, out of comms range, be outside the galaxy completely. They ran out of food, turned on each other. How long do we have before the countdown gets to zero? Four hours. I will walk the great spiral, and I will let the mother, the maiden, and the crone decide what is true 
who is right and who is wrong. Will they let me through security with it? It's close. It's nothing like your powers. It's crowded, it's chaotic, but it's alive. Harry? Peter, what am I looking at? Harry Selby. Quantum Consciousness Protocol. It's projection of some kind. Computer, identify the issue with Harry Seldon Protocol. Incomplete neural uplink. Computer, what was the source of uplink? Initiated with Raish Fox Arrival Protocol. Uh, can you restart it? Authorization required. What have you done to yourself, Harry? I had a data unit implanted in my brain before we left Trento. Things were brought hidden in Rachel's life, recorded in my thoughts, memories, everything right up to the moment I, I must have gone wrong. <laughs> uh, on a ship called the Raven, headed to Helicon, home world, Harry. Helicon, yes. With Rach. He sent me instead. He wouldn't do that. You're supposed to lead the first foundation. He knew that. We're running out of time. We need to make a move now. We take their weapons. Level the playing field. I'm not a fighter. None of us are. Most people aren't. Until we're left with no other choice. Stop! An energy barrier. It's got to be a tech precursor to our fence on Terminus. I'm the only expert here who can safely override it. But you'll need to uncuff me. Fifteen seconds. Be more barriers, security protocols to override. I owe you an explanation, Gail. I recognize that now. Why did Rache do it? I don't understand. Why did he kill you? My death was an essential element to the success of the plan. I don't understand. The foundation needs more than a man to inspire it. It needs a myth that can endure for centuries. But I can't see you sacrificing your life just to turn yourself into this. Why not just wait? I have Lethe's syndrome. Had Lethe's syndrome. Inherited from my father. Once the symptoms manifest, the cognitive decline is steep. Approaching debris disk. Debris field surrounds Helicon's dark star. It's kept your home world hidden all these years. Peter, divert from the debris field. Authorization required. Something is going to pierce the hull. Harry, if you're in the mainframe, you can turn us around. The shields are strong. Any microbeaters will seal automatically. Turn us around. This is too much. Why did you break your routine? I can't. Why did you get out of that pool? I know what you're trying to do. You were worried about Raish. You went to his cabin. He wasn't there. Then what happened? I could feel it in the air. Maybe sentiment of maybe thousand, hundred, a, a sense of doom. I just, I had a feeling. It is very even kind of a feeling, a, a memory, a vision, what? A compulsion. Like knowing the star bridge would fall, like knowing when they'd come to arrest me. How are you awake? Away. Did you s say something? No, but I was going Someone to Someone would speak before they did. How are you, how are you, how are you awake? awake? No difference, Mr. Did you say, say something? I'm sorry. Exiling us. How are you awake? I'm sorry. Did you say something? That's why I came to your cabin. That's what you can predict. I knew what was going to happen before it did. Not through math, not through calculations. I think I can feel the future. Wow.
All right, so that was episode seven. Um, this episode was pretty decent. In this episode, we basically see Sevor and the gang get to the ship that's called the Invictus. The Invictus was like an imperial ship that had disappeared like 700 years ago. You see them trying to get to actually land on the ship because it was like three different rings. They all land on it except for Hugo, who is drifting off in space somewhere. I'm just gonna assume he's not dead because if that was supposed to be his death scene, it was pretty it was very meh also in this episode we see gail and harry we find out that harry had like a data link implanted in himself and like the data link backs up all his memories up until his death and apparently gail can see like the future i'm assuming it's because when like i think it was the first episode the ship had jumped and she had came out of the cryo thing and she like saw it spinning and stuff and basically that was the whole episode so yeah i'm about to go watch the next one so don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye